Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Niharika Kaduro, and I serve as an commissioner for District 2 and a public art working group member. I've served as a youth commissioner since 2021. I'd also like to extend a welcome to all those joining the event via Zoom. If at any moment you have any comments or questions, please feel free to use the chat function. After the event, we will upload the Zoom recording on our YouTube channel for others to view. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this special event. The completion of this mural represents the culmination of months of hard work and collaboration. We're excited to share this beautiful artwork with all of you guys. Next, I would like to introduce Valley Water Board Chair Varela to offer, to offer his opening remarks. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Nika, for your gracious acknowledgement and to our board of directors that are here. I see Director Bell, I see Director Shwea, and all of those that had so much part to do us. Of course, the most of our, uh, our, jet, our artist uh, is here in, with his Valley Water work that he's done so in, uh, in, incredibly well. Mr. Paul Gonzalez, if you will I'll just smile at the he was sharing with me. He was sharing with me earlier that he's done over 200 projects. Can you imagine that? Well, that's amazing. So he's left his mark throughout the valley. So we're very honored and pleased to exhibit his work that we're going to be exhibiting uh, seeing in a few minutes. So, so good morning, everybody. I am John Varela, chair of the Valley Water Board of Directors, and I am so pleased here today to celebrate the completion of the Valley Waters uh, inaugural mural. Mural is so incredible to see as we pass on Blossom Mill Road. I want to take a moment to thank our youth commission, our water ambassadors, artists, muralist Mr. P.J. Gonzalez, as I mentioned, the leadership, commitment, and determination in bringing our mural to life. I'm so happy the way it all turned out. I'm sure you're all happy as well. The mural is a powerful statement to Valley Water's core pillars, emphasizing our commitment to providing Santa Clara with safe, clean water, flood protection, and environmental stewardship. As an integral part of Valley Waters Public Art Program, this mural aims to revitalize and beautify our infrastructure while deferring trash, debris, and graffiti near creeks and waterways. I'm sure we've all seen that, and we've had that experience when we do our Clean the Creeks programs. This program is made possible through the Safe, Clean Water and Natural Flood Protection Program, which allocates funding to install and maintain public art projects such as what we're experiencing here today. The mural and public art program are designed to bring awareness of our mission and environmental stewardship to our communities, uh, raising awareness above being good stewards of our natural resources and waterway. It is even more important that we experience the effects of climate change. With that, I'd like to thank you for your contributions to making the Miro project a success and acknowledge every member of this community and support this work and who will be able to enjoy the mural for years to come. And thank you for the Youth Commission who made this all happen. Thank you, Chair Varela, for your welcoming remarks. Now let's hear from the Valley Water Youth Commission's Public Art Working Group, which will describe our mural themes. Um, okay. uh, thank you, Nirika. Good morning, everyone. My name is Oda, representing District 7 of the Public Art Working Group. I've served as a youth commissioner since 2021. Uh, we work closely with Mr. Gonzalez to bring the mural to life. I'm thrilled to present the first theme showcase in this mural, the importance of Valley Water's infrastructure and innovation. From the earthen dam, water pipelines, and water tank. The mural showcases Valley Water's infrastructure to provide safe, clean water to the county. With thoughtful attention to detail, the mural intentionally portrays our water systems, pipelines, and innovative technologies, illustrated through a modernized and poor water pipe and a recycled water or purple pipe. It represents Valley Water's ongoing commitment to utilizing cutting edge solutions to ensure the delivery of safe and reliable water services to our community. I want to introduce Agata Bach, who will share insights on another significant theme depicted in this mural. Thank you, Oda. Good morning, everyone. I am Agata Bach, Youth Commissioner representing District 4 and Public Art Working Group member. 
I've served as a youth commissioner since 2022. It is an honor to speak to you about the second theme beautifully showcased in this mural. The representation of the people behind our water and the community Valley Water serves. The vibrant color is a diverse array of people and professions depicted in the artwork celebrate the richness and diversity of our community. From, rainbow image, from the rainbow image to the various genders, age groups, and ethnicities, the mural highlights the value of inclusivity and the recognition of different backgrounds, perspectives, and professions. Ali Water strongly values diversity and strives to create an inclusive environment where everyone's voice is heard and respected. This mural is a powerful reminder of our commitment to fostering a welcoming and inclusive community. By showcasing diversity, the design aims to foster a sense of belonging and create a welcoming environment for everyone. Now let's hear from Niharika, who will shed light on the last theme of the mural. Thank you, Agat. I'm pleased to speak to you about the third theme highlighted in this mural, the importance of protecting our environment. The artwork showcases the natural beauty of our surroundings, including snowy mountain ranges, native plants, as well as animals. It is a touching reminder of our responsibilities to protect and preserve these precious resources. Valley Water is so committed to environmental stewardship and sustainable practices that ensure the long-term health of our environment, and this mural is a testament to that commitment. By using water efficient actions, such as water saving devices or reusable water bottles, the mural reminds us of our important role in conserving water and protecting our environment. Now that we have gained a deeper understanding of the themes represented in the mural, I'd like to introduce the artist and muralist behind our mural, Paul J. Gonzalez. <laughs> You know, um, I'm really excited because I get to see everybody here and everybody coming this morning to uh, participate and to be here to celebrate uh, th this amazing work that we did. Um, and I've seen my family and friends here, and you know, this is this is where it is—the big heart, right? And this piece right here is uh, such a, a joy for this Blossom Hill area. We have so much color. We have so much positivity. I mean, it's really going to stick out and just uh, make people smile, you know. And when I was painting this mural, uh, from 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 the lines that we drew to filling in to from the lower area to the upper area, I met so many people walking by that were just 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 they had to stop and talk and just understand what was happening and how they expressed how it made their neighborhood feel uh, and improved and better and joyful. And I just met so many different friends passing through. Um, I met a lot of interesting people too. Um, I met a lady who had cancer who said every day she passed by, it just made her feel joyful. And she, and I was just, I became her friend as we were walking by. And just people honking, these tough guys would drive by and all of a sudden, hey, yeah, that's awesome. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> So, you know, it's like, and then just people passing by and just just saying thank you, the, the bus driver that would pass by every day. Um, and as she dropped off people, she would wave and give me a peace sign. You know, it, it was an indicator that we were doing some great work here and the colors that we were doing. And it just pushed me and motivated me to like, we got to keep on bringing it, you know, because for one, we want to make a quality piece that's going to last a long time. So we're putting in lots of great intentions in this piece. Uh, we want we want a piece that's really that's going to talk to everybody. Let's face it, the community has everybody in this. So how do you shoot that arrow, the bullseye, so to make for a piece that it can speak to everyone, you know, uh, and, and something to look at and, and enjoy. Another thing we were working on too was the design that when people pass by, they really only get about three seconds to look at it. So we wanted to make sure that they were able to capture in a, in a quick glance the essence of the details of the mural, which is really, that's going to be really complicated. And I think we did it because every time I pass by, I'm just like, wow, this is awesome. And keep going. We don't want it to be an distraction. We just want to, you know, we want to make sure that just people get the, the message and they can go. And I think it's an amazing joy for the people who are walking on the sidewalk because they get to really see those details when they're passing by and, um, and, just to, to see the enormous size of it. This this is close to about two and a half to three stories of a house size 
So it's really difficult, you know. We, um, for one thing we had to do was we had to step back to make sure things were perspective. You know, it's really close to the street. So we had a lot of different, just how can I say, um, obstacles, but we overcame them. One thing I want to mention is when people see the mural and when they saw, saw me painting and saw my team painting, which I'll acknowledge in a second, is that if they're, you're seeing the tip of the iceberg because the iceberg that's down below in the water is this amazing team. We couldn't have pulled this off without the youth commissioners, without the valley board, without my awesome team. I want to um, uh, acknowledge Renee Moreno. This guy kept things going. We had a lot of obstacles that just came up and we're like, what do we do? With Kristen Yasukawa as our backup and, and manager of the program, supervisor, um, she just kept working and kept having creative ideas to just figure out what we needed to do. We also had to work, we work with communications. Um, I'd like to also um, acknowledge Tony. Um, I believe, Tony is a, a Leonardo uh, facilities. Without his help, we couldn't have gotten some of the, uh, uh, the fencing and all the stuff that we needed to actually make this happen on the ground level. So there is an amazing team here that just, you don't really get to see that. So I really wanted to acknowledge them because we couldn't have done this mural project. It, it's a team, it's a tribe that we were able to do this. Another thing I want to acknowledge is my amazing wife, Monica Rose. She was amazing support, help on so many different levels for this project. Without her, you know, you know, we couldn't have made this happen too. I would like to acknowledge my mother, Lenora. This is her, third, her fifth mural that she helped me on. And um, she's afraid of heights, and I got her on that three and like, the third. I just said, hang in there because we can always overcome our heights. We can always cover our fears, you know. The, um, and um, and you know, in doing this mural, it was it was the bigger you go, this it can kind of be a little um, intimidating. You know, there's parts where it's scary, like can I really pull this off? You know, we're going to make it. You know, sometimes you get in your head, so you have to like, okay, think of the positive. The quotes, positive, um, positive words to keep yourself going. Um, I like to address my family that's here, and just uh, thank you for showing up. I see Patrick Reed, my father-in-law, my my dad, Gene, and I'm gonna say my 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 cousin Michael and Kate and little Antonia. I could be thinking everybody's so about like you know. Okay, thank you all my friends. I know who came here today. I just want to say uh, thank you, and I really appreciate this. And I, um, I really feel that we, we captured all the essence of the Valley Water from the infrastructure, the mission, diversity, the environment, community. I think the cohesive piece. Um, I hope this mural will just keep on inspiring um, for many years to come. And uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, you know, Chris Carrillo. I'm sorry. Yes. Chris Grillo. Chris Grillo has been working with me on, on, the, on my murals for the longest time, and he was an awesome help on this. And I'm really glad you came. And he is an amazing painter as well. So, thank you, man. Thank you. That's all. I think that's it. And I want to say um, thank you. Hope I've acknowledged everybody. I'm going to pass it on to Nariga. Thank you, Paul, for, your share, for sharing your artistic journey with us. Mm -hmm. On behalf of Valley Water and the Youth Commission, it gives me great pleasure to present you with a token of our appreciation, your extraordinary talent, and dedication to bringing this mural to life. <clears throat> your artistic vision and skill have created a lasting legacy for our community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
Youth Commission would also like to give a special thank you to Lenora Caceres and Monica Rose for the support they provided to ensure the success of our mural. Thank you for supporting our project. <laughs> We also like to acknowledge Chris. Now let's take a moment to watch a video that provides an overview of the entire movement. The video showcases the journey behind the creation of this mural, capturing the collaborative effort and the artistic process involved in moving it to fruition. Let's take a look and appreciate the hard work and dedication that went into making the stunning artwork in the outfit. Hi, I'm Jim Bell, Valley Water Board member for District 4. This is the same district where the largest public art project ever undertaken by Valley Water is now displayed on Blossom Hill Road. Now the effort to turn the side of our annex building into a beautiful mural was quite an endeavor and we couldn't have done it without the help of so many. As part of our renewed Safe Clean Water program, the Pilot Mural Project is part of our public art program, which is designed to help us uh, integrate art into our communities to help deter trash and litter from our facilities, our public spaces, and our watersheds. Because it basically depicts our mission statement, you know, water supply and the environmental justice, and then our employees, you know. Uh, they need to get the, the credit they deserve because they work 724, serving the public. The Youth Commission took the initiative and then got it into implementation. I thought uh, it's wonderful and then uh, I should be uh, part of the process from starting uh, to completion. So our amazing artist, Paul Gonzalez, he um, actually drafted the sketch along with the Public Arts Working Group of the Youth Commission. And once the sketch was drafted, we were able to present our opinion on the sketch, uh, any design elements we wanted to be added, and truly vote on what we thought was the best sketch and what would best fit the outlook of this building and how it would present itself to the rest of the community. So we were involved in um, finalizing the sketch and of course painting it as you can see right here. He kind of broke it down into kind of uh, someone said a paint by numbers <laughs> design so yeah it was easy uh, he, he gave us our paint here and this is a uh, purple this is lavender you know and we just got to it so he was cool he definitely has some vision here <laughs> hey everybody this is it our finished product for the valley water this is our, our mural project this is their first mural project so glad to be part of this it was an awesome project we worked with the valley water youth commission worked with valley water management and the valley water board to get this happening, to hear all the different ideas that was going to represent the first mural of Valley Water, which the public was going to see, and here it is. And it is just awesome. The magnitude of this mural is just immense, and I'm glad to be part of it. To me, the mural showcases a culmination of the effort that the environmental stewards and local activists of our county have put into protecting our environment, and also presents itself as a reminder of how we must never fail in our env environmental stewardship. I am so happy with the way it turned out. Valley Water has a proud history of serving the people of Santa Clara County. This mural perfectly depicts the diversity of who we are and the essential work that we do. Provide safe, clean water. I mean, look at this! Director of District 4 of Valley Water Board of Directors to deliver a commitment.
Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody, Paul and the Youth Commission and all the um, people that were involved in uh, creating this. My colleagues on the board who were here before I became a board member. Um, and I'm really proud to be the um, representative of this area with the mural. Now, don't you think we ought to have murals all over the county? <laughs> <and> all <laughs> all <laughs> so I, 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 um, um, I've been a public arts advocate uh, since I was on the city council. We adopted uh, what they call the 1% for the arts. That means every project in the community of public works projects had to have at least 1% of the funds used for public arts. And uh, arts, <clears throat> art projects like this define what you do and define your community. I think that's what the goal of this, and it certainly met that objective. And we ought to really focus on that these days. Today, in the world we live in, is we have to focus on, on what we are doing, what our values are, and sometimes just writing them or just having talking heads talk about it doesn't do it. Public art is the better way and a better avenue for people can have an emotional and a personal connection and a relationship with, with uh, serving the public. And that's what this piece of art does. Um, it, it really has transformed this building. And, um, you know, we have our goals of safe, clean water, uh, the stewardship for the environment. And I think this uh, defines that. And uh, when is your exhibit at the Art Museum? It's going to be uh, August 17th. I'm going to be in Contact Magazine at the Sound State Museum. Yeah. August 17th, uh, Content Magazine. Magazine at Sound State Museum. At San Jose Museum of Art, August 17th. There's going to be an exhibit. Everybody should show up. And uh, we should have a defined art program comprehensive throughout the, the Valley Water District properties. Uh, Youth Commission can come up with some great ideas for us. I uh, already asked them to do that. So let's get going. Let's do more of these Great. Thank you, Claude. Thank you, Director Bell, and thank you all for your presence in this momentous event. Now it's time for us to move forward with the ribbon cutting ceremony. For those joining us via Zoom, please stay tuned. We will continue to stream the event this early. Please follow staff as we transition outside. <laughs> Okay, we want everybody to step forward so we can do an entire group photo so everybody gather around as you can. Come on in. Don't be shy, everybody. <laughs> We're going to gather around and see if you can still say it in there, but it's not going to be official. <laughs> say when. <laughs> Thank you. 